Sometimes just replacing variables inside of translations isn't enough. And in this video, we're going to look at an example that alerts to a user how many messages they have. This will just be text on the page. But in this case, we need to take pluralization into account. If we say something like, you have five messages, of course, the five could be the placeholder. But what if we have one message? If we have an S on the end, this isn't going to make sense in the English language. Now, we could, of course, have two different translations, one for the plural and one for the singular, and we could use an if statement to check the count of messages and then determine which one to show. But this is going to add unnecessary code, and it will get messy and hard to understand and maintain. But obviously, Laravel, being really flexible, provides a much better solution to this. So let's go ahead and create a language file inside of greetings, or let's rather create one inside and call this messages. So we return our array and we'll say new for the key. So I'm going to say you have count new messages. So we can practice working with this. So inside of home, let's choose messages.new to show. If we preview that, we'll see that, but just without the count being replaced. So inside of our root, let's pass down the account of messages. So we'll say new messages, and we'll say five for now. So now within here, we can replace the count with a new messages variable that we've passed down, and that will replace that, and it will say you have five new messages. So now that's working, let's tackle the plural version. It's really, really simple. Inside of our language file, all we do is use a bar to separate the plural and singular versions. So we can still use the count placeholder twice. We just have to retype this. And there we are. So you have count new message and you have count new messages. So if we refresh this as it is, it doesn't make sense because we've now got two translations separated by a bar. And that's because we can't use the trans helper function here, unfortunately. We have to go ahead and use the lang model and access the choice static method, which will go ahead and it will determine which one to pick. And you'll notice that I included the singular first rather than the plural first, because we're saying to Laravel here, this is the singular. And then after the bar, or the separated by the bar, is the plural version. Now when we refresh, you'll see that we've got an error. Now the reason being here is we need to pass an additional piece of information through to lang choice. It actually takes three parameters here. In this case, it's just going to be the translation name, which we already know. The second is actually going to be the count, because this isn't enough to, to say to Laravel, this is what determines the singular or plural version. So as the second argument, we pass through the number. In this case, it's new messages. And the third argument is going to be the placeholders. And again, we can have as many as we want in here. So this is saying render the new messages translation with five new messages, in this case, passed down from our root. And we pl uh, pass in the count as usual. So when I refresh now, it says you have five new messages. That's exactly what we would normally expect. Let's go ahead and change this to one and see what that does. And as we would expect, it changes to the singular version that we included. And there we are. The singular version takes its place and we've tackled pluralization in Laravel. 